Hello, I'm Patty Simpson with Simpson Math. Let's find the probability using a spinner. So here we have a spinner and we're just gonna spin that spinner. So the experiment in this problem is spinning that spinner. The outcome from spinning the spinner is determined by chance. So when an outcome is determined by chance, that process involving that is the experiment. So we're spinning a spinner here. I want to know what is the sample space? Well, the sample space are all the possible outcomes. So if I spin this spinner, what could happen? Well, I could land on a green. I could land on a red. I could land on a white or I can land on a blue. The question is, is it each one of those equally likely? Is it just as likely that I land on a green as I land on a white? Are those the same po possibilities, the same probabilities? So the symmetric sample space shows each possibility equally likely. So if I divide this up into equal pieces, so that all of my pieces on the spinner are exactly the same, like so. Now, it is just as likely as I land here as it is that I land there. And we see in that case, that green shows up one, two, three, four times. So in order for me to write the symmetric sample space, I would need to write that green on here four times. So now it's just as likely I land on this piece of green as it is I land on that piece of green. So for my symmetric sample space, I need green four times. I need blue two times. I need white one time. And I need red one time. That is my symmetric sample space. Now I'm going to find the probability using this symmetric sample space. And we can really see how probability and area are related. So for instance, on this first one, I want to know the probability that we spin a green. Remember that word probability, it's the number of ways we can get this event over the total number of outcomes. Well, if we look, we see that there are a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal pieces, or eight equally likely outcomes. That eight is our denominator. Then we look for the total number of ways we can get that event of green, in which case there are four of those pieces. So four eighths, or one half or 50% is the probability that we spin a green. We can really see that area of our circle is also one half. So probability and area are related. If it takes up half the circle, then the probability I hit it is one half. Let's look at the blue. The probability I spin a blue on here well, there are two blues out of my total of eight. So two eights is the probability that I spin a blue, or I could reduce that to one fourth. So if I spin my spinner four times, I would expect at least one of those, I would expect one time, theoretically, I would expect one time for me to land on blue. Spin it four times, I should land on blue once. Also, you see that the circle, one fourth of this area of this circle is made up of blue. So therefore, the probability that I hit blue is one fourth. Let's look at this not white. What's the probability that I don't get white or I don't land on white? This not white, is what we call the complement. I want to know the complement of getting white. So this is equal to the complement 
complement of probability of what? And we write that complement in this notation. When I'm talking about the complement, I say the probability of not white. And this just tells me that I'm looking for the complement of white. Some people will write it, or in some books, they'll write it with a C up here, the complement of white. So let's just see what is the complement of white. Well, there's one spot on here of getting a white. That means that there are, if we're not counting white, if we're looking at the ones that are not white, we're looking at the rest of them. So there are seven that are not white. So the probability is seven out of eight. Or we could have done it this way. We could have said our whole circle makes up one whole circle. And I'm gonna take away my white because I don't want the white, not the white. So I take away the one eighth that is my white. And that leaves me with, well, one could be rewritten as eight out of eight minus the one out of eight, which is seven eighths. So the probability that I get not white is seven out of the eight pieces, which we can see again that the area of my circle is seven out of the eight pieces are not white. So there's a little bit on finding probability using this spinner. Math made simple. It's some math. Thanks for watching.